Would you ride with DTR? I, I mean, again, DTR is not, he, he's not where he's going to be even after four or five more starts. He's not. I think, I think we've had a few examples. We've seen, you know, Josh Dobbs is a great example. In Arizona, his first couple of games, exciting, interesting, different, comes back down to earth, gets benched, uh, and then gets traded away for next to nothing to Minnesota. Gamer 2 looks really exciting, really interesting, and then comes back down to earth and is, uh, you know, gets benched. And so I think, you know, we saw that with P.J. Walker. All of a sudden we're like, oh, good, P.J. Walker, he's not DTR. We got to ride with him. Everyone wants P.J. Walker released onto the practice squad, whatever. I think what they believe is that DTR is going to kind of have a steady up, whereas someone like Flacco may have a game or two here that he looks okay, but he's probably going to have that same fall off that we've seen from other quarterbacks who haven't been starters for a reason in the last three, four seasons. Um, and so I think for me, I'm going to ride with DTR because I think that is the guy not only for this year, but beyond gives you the highest upside. It allows you to maintain some uh, stability in the offense. Last week, I thought we saw a lot more of the Baker Mayfield type offense under Kevin Stefanski with some of those bootlegs and some of those things, which, which I don't mind those with DTR. I just think DTR gives you a higher ceiling and the likelihood of improvement, whereas Flacco gives you the likelihood of falling off. That's, I, I, that's fair. I would kind of flip it the other way. I think long-term DTR is your guy. I think Flacco gives you the best chance of getting to the playoffs and maybe even winning a play. I think I, I, I don't see this offense scoring 28 points with DTR. Flacco, you always – and I, I don't see it a consistent thing, but he gives you a puncher's chance against any defense because of that arm. Now – to your point, he could also throw three interceptions because of that arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think what really what you're saying is it's kind of like the big play receiver that has a lot of drops. Are you okay with the drops because of that? Listen, Flacco trusts he's going to throw the ball before receivers break. You know, he threw a, a bunch of balls 10 yards or farther down the field. So do you accept the good with the bad, whereas with Dorian Thompson-Robinson – you're going to see less willingness to make mistakes. Um, you're going to see him likely to hold on to the ball a little bit longer to make sure he sees it, then throws it. So, again, I think you are really – you're picking between two flawed quarterbacks. I don't think there's a right answer. What we do know is it's very easy for us and the fans to say if it's Flacco and he struggles, they should have gone back to DTR. You call them a starter for a reason. And if they go to DTR and he struggles or the team struggles, you should have started Flacco. He showed you enough in that one game, right? We we can always know that the other guy would have done really well if he would have started him. It's kind of like play calling. If you're throwing, why didn't you run the ball? <laughs> if you're throwing and we lose, you should have run it. If you're running and we lose, you should have thrown it. Um, Bingo.